Good morning, afternoon, and evening, everyone. This is Hippo Tesla, and welcome to episode two of Resident Evil Revelations. However, he says it. Resident Evil Revelations. That's not even impressive, but okay. I, I guess that's how he says it. How's everyone doing? It's been an unplanned hiatus, and uh, you know, family comes first. All I'll say is. Watch yourselves, people. That sounds like I'm threatening someone, but yeah, just, you know, take some time for yourself. I have some good news, though. I finally, well, it's been, what, two weeks, maybe, since I got my driver's license. So I can finally drive like an adult. And, uh, and I also finished my math finals, I guess, today. Would, would that be a good translation? I've been, I've been just throwing it around. But oh, yeah. Yeah, I was my last exam for a long time, and uh, it's done. It's I never have to do it again. It's done, and it went better than I expected. So uh, that's a huge load off my chest. And you know, with stuff like that, you uh, you just feel like you have more room around you. <laughs> Genius! Is that a burning Elmo love? Yeah. That's from. That's from Swayze. Okay, <laughs> I didn't notice that one. I have to use it. Nice. I did some changes. Like I enabled better Twitch TV emotes in options. I never thought about it. And Mayor Hazard mentioned that to me a while ago. So, <laughs> months ago. And then I connected the dots again. All right. Thanks, love. We start with, we start with Gargle. <laughs> We're going underwater right away. But, uh. Yeah, I, I just connected the dots in the dashboard and hopefully they'll work. Somebody who's using those, I, I know it, they, they have their own words, like, like trigger words. What, what do you call that? Like text that triggers the emote. Commands, I, I'm going to say emote commands. They're not really commands, but yeah. So we'll see. Did you just ban? <laughs> you banned... You banned the sellout, okay? You banned me to sell out from selling out. Are you sure? Okay. <laughs> I guess we'll do that. <laughs> Silly love. Okay, so we finished the first two episodes, haven't we? Yeah. Um, I think it was that. We never started the third episode. So we're going to do that. I can't even... I know Jessica and the Wolves happened. That's how... It's been just, what, three weeks? It feels longer, but, you know, it hasn't been that long. I already have no fucking clue what happened in this game. Like the last time. How many episodes? As many as it's, you know... Wait, you mean episodes of the game? I think, like, 12. I thought it's gonna be, like, five. <laughs> then six, that's the final one. Seven has to be the final one. There's more than seven, huh? <laughs> I think it was 12 or something. Zdravo druže gamut, zdravo zdravo. Hello, welcome my friend, how you doing? Good to see you. My choo-choo train leader, the conductor, what do they call them? Conductor, yeah. Charge! Thank you, thank you so much for the resub gamut. Yeah, with the, with the signature. Man, you know, it would be nice to have something... Uh, Something like this. Sword. Like, I need a charging emote. Like, a guy with a sword. And just a regular smile, I guess. Smiley? Smile? It's gonna... <laughs> it's gonna look very tripped out like this. But yeah, here we go. He's very happy with the sword. Charge! But we're gonna make our own. That's something. Love, can you put that down, please? I wanna make a charging emote. They are getting better. Thank you, Gamut. I don't know if you missed that, but uh, you know, you're uh, you're on Discord. You're aware of what's going on. But uh, good news is I finally finished my maths exam and I finally got my driver's license. Sasha's doing better. So, you know, these things come in waves. We're going up and down. When it gets down, you just gotta, I guess, duck and cover. <laughs> Do your best to survive the storm and just keep going. But, you know... As, a, as an intelligent adult, I'm sure you know all about that. If the dinosaurs did that, man, where would we be? Is that, the, you know, that dinosaur reminds me. Do you know about um, 
what is it called dino couch i think they're on youtube pretty sure instagram definitely like short comics like strips four panel strips and uh short cartoons with dinosaurs in different situations it's very but like it's wholesome you know and kind of teaches a not teaches a lesson but reminds us of the good stuff in love love well in life but also a lot about love <laughs> I'll try to remember to send you something from there later. They're from them later. It's I forgot to make Nadia Espela La Inquisition. Inquisition Espanola. Oh, nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. Yeah. All right, all right. <laughs> Wait, is that what's that supposed to be a well, challenge? It's supposed to be like da and uh, pronounce me like one of your French girls. Man, am I gonna butcher every accent and every? Why not put? Well, you keep saying escucha, <laughs> man. <laughs> well, next, put Italian there too. Uh, I don't know what we're gonna call it. We're gonna call it It's -a me, hippie. Oh, there you go. <laughs> All the stereotypes covered, man. <laughs> yeah, possibly. I don't know. I I don't know if you ever sit down in front of Google and go dinosaurs. <laughs> Zdravo, Ljubka, sestro moja. Hello and welcome, Ljubka. Good to see you, sis. Where are those? That's a party emote, that's a party favor, and I don't know what the other one is. <laughs> oh, man, they're not the better here. Man. Every, it's like getting... Ljubka, thank you so much, my sis. Thank you. Oh, let it, let it, is it even, does the, is the sound even going through? Yeah, it is, okay. I thought for a second it's not going through. <laughs> Just that I'm hearing it. Well, thank you, sis, from your from your bro. Um, what was I gonna say? Every time of limited, you can, I can count them on my hands. Um, times I went out into the traffic, <laughs> I was afraid for my life because there's always someone who thinks they're smarter. So. You know, and they're without patience, especially since you have a little... I don't know if it's a thing in other countries, probably it should be. But, you know, I have to mark the car with, like, beginner driver stamp, which is a big P. I don't know why P. I guess Serbian for beginner, Pochetnik. Wait, is it a big P or a small? Cyrillic P, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, love. But, you know, <laughs> you have to have that. And people are still like, what the fuck? <laughs> you know, screaming throwing things they're not throwing but if it weren't against the law i you know i think i i would get a jackhammer or something at the back of my head like what why is that necessary not all of them of course very few you know percentage based you know what's the what's the word for that mm, proportionally few but they they're pretty loud man <laughs> Yeah, Sasha told me that too. You know, it's I, that's very pretty bleak, but I get why why people say it, and it's yeah, because when we were driving back today, uh, you know, it's a good it's what about let's say 20, 30 miles maybe from the city to our place, and uh, there was one person who was driving an old beat up car. I'm gonna say a Trabant or something like that, like very old, looks like from the 80s even. They were driving like a decent speed, 40, 50 kilometers an hour. That's what, like 20, 30 miles maybe. But uh, it was such a, you know, refreshing change of pace because literally, <laughs> because most people on that road where there's a limit like 80 kilometers, let's say, to drive like 120. What the fuck is that? <laughs> That's nothing. A settlement, 50 kilometer limit. <laughs> Limit schmimit. We can get that to triple digits. And then, you know, one of the things they taught me in the school was... Uh, no matter what it says on the sign, if everybody else is driving like an asshole, well, you got to do it too, so you don't endanger everybody else who's an asshole. Which I get, but it also... Huh? <laughs> but I get it. So, there's that, yeah. Zdravo, Maiko. Hello, mother of hippie. Hello, welcome. Oh, good to see everyone here. You should talk with Danny about driving. He has a bunch of experience with the other driver. I bet he does. I bet. Especially car enthusiast. I bet he does. So yesterday, on a very, very, very steep in Belgrade, the car shuts down. Was it like, like chokes, I guess? Mm -hmm. When you know, because we drive manuals here. No, very few people have automatics. We drive stick. That's the, that's the American way to say it. We drive stick. And, well, the clutch is not perfect on this car. You know, we bought it used and oh, far from perfect. And the first gear is not perfect. And the gas is not 
it's not fully analog at the start so all that combined the car choked so you know i was trying not to panic i think i succeeded but you know just try to start it four more times and choke sasha tried you know as a way more experienced driver started in the third 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 try i think would it's a very steep uh, street and there was there was already a guy who took over from the right for so for you from i don't know english korean and other people where driving is on the left normal so he took over from the left over the pavement over everything if there were their babies and mothers riding around they're gone they're not there luckily there wasn't anyone but you could see it was a case of a person who's not supposed to be walking around let alone driving so like i had that my first you know nobody nobody really threw a jack threw a jackhammer at me but you know that guy would have <laughs> if it weren't in public i bet he would have yeah the whole hippie family is <laughs> arriving all right let's get into the game we're not gonna podcast yeah. forever but i will podcast whenever i feel like talking you respected my dad it was like five minutes, so he didn't sell out for more than he Oh, okay, I didn't. Yeah, okay, so I, I don't have to refund that. I keep the points. <laughs> I got a proof for what? What did I, what did I, I miss? Uh, Danny has a proof oh, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, because he's got a dash cam now. That's wonderful. Can't wait to get myself a dash cam. Yeah, love, just definitely. <laughs> Bloopers. You know? I think being a traffic policeman, traffic, what is it, traffic officer, traffic cop, I think it's a noble profession, honestly, after some things I witnessed in only a week, I think it's a noble profession, those people, God bless them, man, <laughs> even started, oh, okay, so he started, he started, <laughs> he started making fame on other people, idiocies, why not, why not, people have used, you know, worse stuff for that. Getting a license is super easy. Yeah, you guys get it. You don't have to learn manually. Yeah, that's weird. I know um, I know our boy John drives stick. Respect. <laughs> but yeah, I know it's, uh, it's very rare over there. But I guess it's because you guys have long distances. You're more spread out. Here, everything's clumped. City driving here. I don't know. Well, yeah, there's less of it, I guess. And... The cities are more dense over there so that's what i actually wanted to say the cities are more dense and more bigger so you know i guess automatic is better for that right yeah. instead of going first gear second gear first gear second gear <laughs> i don't know maybe i don't know how much uh i imagine it driving like you know like on the xbox controller driving a racing game there's only two triggers so you know everything's done automatic but even there i like to switch on you know the manual with something it's just pressing a button for gear up and down but you gotta you gotta time it you know man i can't believe i'm talking about driving in my stream driving cars not driving planes you're more interesting in talking about driving than playing, <laughs> playing this yeah they are our real protectors yeah 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 i i, I am aware of that and it fascinates me gamut it's a whole different culture i know from movies if nothing else from the media that like when someone says i drive stick it's like oh it's heads off to you sir and i didn't understand that until i learned what automatic is because we can we cannot have this why do we have this you know i asked as a kid but now i get why we have it i guess it's also a preference they're less popular in in europe for some reason unless maybe in germany I know i've heard in germany because auto bands they can they use a lot of automatics but if i if anything i said makes no sense very possible i have no idea what i'm talking about <laughs> all right let's get into this episode three ghosts of veltro what happened it really doesn't matter it, it won't matter what happens in this game till the end so just enjoy the gameplay and the ride continue is that it yeah i think it's just continue we didn't start the next episode previously resident evil revelations Yep. No one could have lived through that. Ah, oh, there you go. The stories of the resurrection are true. Then the setup that got Jill and Parker, it was all <laughs> It's a trap. Yeah, that almost guarantees. Right. Thank you, sis. Go after Jill and Parker. Make your way to the Mediterranean. Where? Damn it. Bastard took all my weapons. Can you reach HQ? No, comes around it seems. Oh. Oh, yeah. 
Hig, haha, <laughs> Hig. I'm illiterate. Ha! Ah. What happened? What happened and what happened? Who knows? Thank you, love. Thank you, dearest. It's very nice to hear that from the closest people in in our lives. Everyone. Everyone. One year ago. There are Gajuju. Oh, I thought this is all. Oh, there we go. We're going and in, getting into the goofiness. We're four years ago. There are the there's the final fantasy villain. Shinra employee. I can still fight. That's the spirit. That's the guy that shot him at the end of episode two, right? Over. The city is finished. Why are you a steward this year? Whoa, no. What happened? Uh, I, I can fight. Man, this is the hunter part. I I love hunters. Give me some volume. Can you hear the game? In there. Okay, this game is pretty quiet. Alright, yeah, it should be good volume. If it's not, let me know. Hey, uh, what's his name? Rufus? Rufus, his son? The facility has been breached. We're closing shop. Prepare to go. Yeah. Split up and get to the helipad on the roof. That's an order. Not too much? Yeah, but it's gonna get loud when we start shooting. Get in. Yeah. Make sure they reach the heliport. But really? Agent can jump over a few boxes. You're fucking kidding me. O'Brien. Oh, I can't jump over. We gotta watch him, I guess. Let me get a better view. We have been at war for three weeks in an attempt to handle this matter. There have been rescues, there have been losses. Too many. But any further delays would simply cripple our cause. Mr. Beardo. I'm afraid I cannot. Obliterating the site by satellite is only a quick fix. We could lose crucial evidence. Use of the satellite has already been approved. We can clean up this mess. I guess you've thought of everything. Even the FBC may not be able to cover its tracks on this one. Let the heavens scorch the earth with justice. These unilateral solutions of yours will only create a new Veltro. Perhaps a dozen of them. Speak up, man. No, it's it's quiet, Lubka. It's not just there. We have the subtitles. You'll just let all those people die. Are you finished now, Director O'Brien? Everyone, you have your orders. Move into position. Raymond, with me. Raymond, that's... Yes, sir. Well, we'll call him Rufus. O'Brain. Where are you, O'Brain? Come back, O'Brain. No, boss, come back. They're going out of the map. There's nothing there on the map. Kill all enemies in hole. Uh, leave it to Lansdale to take care of the higher-ups. So, uh, Lansdale wants to obliterate the city with um with the hammer of dawn with a sa satellite strike which we know is what happens in the end because this is the past and they told us the city's been obliterated unless they lied and O'Brain here my boss oh well no actually parker was working for fbc that's right we're fbc we're not even bsaa bsaa didn't exist four years ago maybe but anyway Hunter shooting. Can't open my inventory. Can't do shit. Oh, there we go. I was wrong. We read that. We got seven of those. Blah, blah, blah. That's all the files I found so far. You think this is it? Not if we shoot all them sons of bitches first. Well, let's, let's explore first. Let, let, let her fight. Is that Jessica? Yeah, that's Jessica. Jessica, who's actually dressed for an occasion. 
for some reason. I guess she was young, didn't get her, didn't find her signature style yet. Going naked into the BOW fight. Don't open fire, I'm looking for items, man. Are you... Ah! Okay, woohoo! Oh shit. Oh yeah, hunters in this game. I, I think last time I cheesed them in a corner or something. Okay. Reload. It's gonna be a long and grueling part. But we get enough ammo, so it should be... Man, I shot the floor next to it, but it counts. Not gonna stand on that floor anymore. Should I... I probably shouldn't do that. Oh yeah, I could... That's how you stun him. Oh man, he stunned me now. What's the heal button? I forgot. Was it this? Nope, that's not that. Why? That's right, why? Well, that's one grenade I won't need. Run! They're gonna fuck you around! Ah! Oh shit, they, they, can, they can actually... I gotta reload. They can actually jump in front of you. There's gonna be like 20 more of them. Yeah, a swarm of hunters, but they're not... They're not the hunters. Now it's our turn to get on that chopper. That elevator should still be operational. This way. I should like them. You know, hunters are one of my favorite enemies in the series. But even they're a little dull, you know. Like, everything seems like it should be good in this game. But I still somehow... Don't feel it. It's got all the, you know tropes of a good Resident Evil game but it's ridiculous it's like Monty Python made a Resident Evil game I'm expecting them to hand over a dead parrot any moment now was it up and down wait is that all I had I had one grenade and I threw it into nothing okay well at least I scared them good so don't press RB Yeah, I agree. I mean, I, I would argue betas in RE3 were scary, but, you know, in RE3 you have your, your arsenal is, you can't compare it. It's just... You're less... Wow, I didn't even see that. I was just gonna go do a quick turn. <laughs> You have automatic weapons, you have, you know, you have two different shotguns, even your pistol. By the time you meet hunters in RE3, even on hard, you can really own it, but not here. Yeah, that's right, that's right. In RE1, especially without auto-aim, it's like, fuck you, pure skill or nothing. What What's one of the new, newer RE games I think it's really good? For me, it's RE7, honestly. Not a lot of, not, not... Yeah, not a lot of old school fans love RE7, but I liked it a lot. It reminded me of RE1, the first one, you know, in a spooky house, but with a new twist. And I liked that a lot more than any of these. No, so no over-the-shoulder Resident Evil is as fun to me as 7 is. Not even like the remakes of 2 and 3. RE8, just ridiculous and goofy. <laughs> we'll get there. I expected more but somehow I got less and I see people like it and good for them, you know. Climb the walls too? But I don't feel it. Oh. oh, we're gonna have to defend now. Oh, he's gonna die very slowly, I guess. We're gonna defend in an elevator, I remember that. Can we call? Can we press? Yeah, alright. Hello, hello, Bondi. How you doing? Sorry, Welcome. You That's fine. But you're buying me dinner next time. 
Good. Almost noon. Jesus Christ. Oh, it's gonna... I think this is the best spot, actually. Head for the other elevator, okay. Oh. I wanna provoke them into attacking and then just, like, have one in... One entrance point here. Should I even poke my head out? Very happy to hear, Bounty. Oh. How silly can you be? We don't have the Metroid Prime scanner, nope. Jesus Christ! <laughs> I expected him from the left. Yeah. Well, more scares than RE4 so far. <laughs> Can you open these? No. How is it over there, Boundy? Are you cooking? Are you cooking, Shun? I guess, I guess they're running. They heard of my reputation to scream when the first window breaks, so they're like, fuck that. See, the hunter can jump over it. Oh, wait, can I jump over it? Like this specific... Why, though? Oh! No, not now! Damn, that was really badly timed, Parker. Is that his name? Parker, right? No shotgun yet? We have the pistol though. Why can't I use that to kill some hunters? Where? Damn, I wanted to pistol him to death, but that obviously didn't work. Punch him in the face, that's right. Oh. I guess I'll have to not throw a grenade again and actually heal. But you gotta you gotta go in into this game. You can't just stand at the door. Down boy. There you go. Who says you can't kill a hunter with a pistol? Hello, senpai! Hello, hello, brother! Nice! Well, don't jump on Hectus too hard. You know how to get rid of cactus, cactus needles, right? When you're done playing, just blow, it, blow in your thumb and you'll, you know, you'll turn into a walking claymore. If you don't know what a claymore is, ask... What's his face? Colonel... What's his face? The Metal Gear Colonel M3 shotgun. Oh yeah, okay, we got a shotgun now. Damn, I forgot his name. Jesus. <laughs> no, not help me stop. No, that's... You know, that would be a lovely name for him, but no, unfortunately. No. Colonel Cactuar. Not even, not that neither, but uh, you gotta keep trying. His name is, uh, man, how do you forget? It's like, he's everywhere in the entire series. Jesus Christ, what's the name of the guy? <laughs> no, Colonel. God damn it. I can't believe I can't remember his name. Roy Campbell. Roy Campbell, that's Roy right. Campbell. Fucking Roy Campbell, Colonel Campbell. Whee. Damn it, yeah, Colonel Campbell. I, too late. <laughs> the FBC's charter. The Federal Bioterrorism Commission, I mean Bioterrorism Commission, was founded by the U.S. government to be the enforcing agency, agency of the guidelines set forth in the National Species Protection Act. This document outlines the FBC's charter and the responsibilities of its members. So this is like the early MBC and bullshit alliance, bullshit artist alliance service, whatever they call it, BSA, bullshit, bullshit. Alliance Agency. Bullshit. Man, I forgot their real name. It's hidden, but... Sarah! <laughs> uh, 
Bullshit Artist Alliance. That's right, Bullshit Artist Alliance. That's their new name. I don't want to know what their old name is. We'll just call them Federal Bioterrorism Commission. The FBC is charged with protecting the United States and her interests from biological trusts. Our organization will work with the other countries and their respective wildlife protection organs to guard public health. As such, we are tasked with ensuring the biological safety of the public at large. The duties of all FBC... I mean, they, you could say they fail here, right? The duties of all FBC members include the research, training, and support of the biological community. Biological community. Policies will be fomented? What's that? Fomented on a need-only basis with any additional budget expenditures and extraordinary activities being approved by a plenary session of the Wildlife Protection Committee. You see, this was a too this was too convoluted for them, I guess. So that's why Bullshit Artist Alliance had to be formed. The FBC chair is selected by the Wildlife Protection Committee. The chair's duties include complete oversight of the FBC and coordination of all activities with respective U.S. cabinet officials. So the guy Lansdale, right? He's the chairman, right? Pro selected by the Wildlife Protection Committee. He's like, burn them all, burn the whole fucking island. U.S. Cabinet Officials, respectively Uzbek U.S. Cabinet Officials. The FBC Chair is the final overseer of the National Animal Protection Community. All members of the National Animal Protection Community are entitled to request help from the Chair, including the Secretaries of State and Defense and the Director of National Intelligence. However, the Chair has final authority on all matters of national biological safety. Biological safety. So that's how they operate, huh? So something happens, you call Nick, Nick calls Joe, and Joe might call the FBC to get involved, I guess. That's how I see it. Am I wrong? Oh, whoa. Little shotgun, little this, little that. I think if I combine the weapons, I shouldn't find myself. Though I don't think I'm gonna find myself lacking ammo in this game at all, but sure. Shotgun is better for close encounters. Should I do the no reload thing that I do normally when I'm playing Resident Evil games? Not here, I'm gonna see. Fuck you! I said fuck you all! He dead? He dead. Alright. Well, that's minimal ammo, I guess. Wasted? Oh! Pronounce me like one of your French girls. Ooh la la, mon chéri, I will do that. Any more files to read? Look at all these files on the floor. None of them to be read by one so young as moi. What is that? I feel... No, we will do Okay, never mind. Off we go. Any more hunters around this area? Oh, a red cock camo. <laughs> Sounded like it said red cock camo. Boop. <laughs> Any more files to read? No. Oui, oui. Oh, mon dieu. <laughs> there you go, more files. Finally starting. Daily Courier article. And London Daily Courier. Track JD. I'm reading London Daily Courier in the French voice. Oh my, I'm going to start a new war. Before I continue with that, let's uh, let's start in order. I don't know if Lupka did hers, but start with Gammy. Gammy here. Check out Gammy. I know he streams lately. I've seen you stream at least a few times lately. So, yeah. You'll see his schedule in how he streams so far. I mean, wee oui, wee. Oui. Tragedy in Terragrigia. Oh my god, there's so, ma uh, so many R's in this. <laughs> no, I'll do it now. <laughs> Don't you do it. It's like... <laughs> um, it's, it's, it's open, Lupka. Anyone can do it. It's, it's okay for other people to shout out. <laughs> A beast slouches toward Europe to be born. And that beast is the Federal Bioterrorism Commission. What is unique about this beast is that the Federal Species Protection Committee that gave birth to it was no beast itself and was intended to assist the U.S. in its counter-bioterrorism efforts. 
<laughs> Unfortunately, Europe has become the home to a tragedy that has roused the beast. The FBC has taken complete control of the biohazard, I mean biohazard, outbreak in Terra Grigia and has in, and has in effect bared the particip participation of other countries. Terra Grigia is an aquapolis that was developed jointly by US and European teams to research and develop alternative energy sources. The impetus behind the city's development was twofold. The Europeans wanted to halt climate change and the Americans hoped, hoped to develop energy resources for Africa. To that end, the city was placed strategically in the Mediterranean Sea. Mediterranean sea. Terra Grigia has enjoyed cooperative administration by both sides and has been held up as a model of successful US-European cooperation. The terrorist attack in Terra Grigia has put the kibosh on that. According to conditions stipulated in the treaty outlining Terra Grigia's governance, both the US and Europe have equal authority during a terrorist attack. Only during, only during the effect of bioterrorism does the FBC assume a leadership role. <laughs> the FBC was formed with the express purpose of dealing with threats posed by bioterrorism. They have a crack squad of soldiers. <laughs> More like squad of soldiers on crack, but sure, just mix up some words. They have a crack squad of soldiers on permanent standby. And by that measure, they have the most expensive shutter of any organization in Europe. During a time of crisis, they have the blessing of US to take charge and control the situation. And that is how the FBC came to be in charge of the current chaos in Terra Grigia. FBC Commissioner Morgan Lansdale has announced that the EU involvement will not be tolerated while his, while his organization deals with the crisis. <laughs> Hello Najuni, Hello, welcome to the stream. <laughs> I try to stream at least once a week, says Gamut. It's so hot during the day that I can only stream late at night. Yeah, I've noticed you've been streaming late at night, but you know, I get it. Man, if we didn't fix the AC, I wonder if I'd be here. It's... I can't... Words can't describe how... People say, it's always been hot in summer. Yes, but not to the extent that, you know, I walk around, I come back as if someone just... Walked. I just go outside to the porch and come back and someone dropped a bucket of water on, you know, on me. So, it's super hot and humid, and, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if it's not like that there, so, completely, yeah. Thanks, Lupka. <laughs> you gotta do them first. <laughs> let's, uh, let's give one of these to John now. And my boy John was next in line. It's been a while, I gotta be like, hmm, is that, uh, is that even, is that even John? Yeah, that's, I think that's John. Senpai Trash TV, Art and Games, just check him out. Lewd and crude and a totally awesome dude. <laughs> Johnny B. Lewd. I could game during the day, but I'd be so hot and miserable. I'd be so hot and miserable, it wouldn't be fun. You know, it's, it doesn't sound, nothing sounds as horrible as when you, when you read it with a Fringlish accent, you know? Gotta remember that in some situations. Where was I? European authorities pressed Lensdale to the respect their rights in this matter, and they were able to convince him to bring in Commander Clive R. Clive R. O'Brien of the BSAA, a well-respected international civilian group. The problem, however, is that even though, though O'Brien himself is a bioterrorism bio expert, he is working with virtually no support staff which limits the scope of actions he can take. Also, his soldiers, his units wear questionable clothing and air styles, which do not, which, well, they're not good for agents. That's all, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Fringlish. Mm, ooh la la, this is Fringlish. Hot and miserable. <laughs> While this story on the tragedy is still unfolding, it would seem that the FEC is ignorant of the extent of the suffering in Terra Grigia. Whether Lensdale has the, has the ability and the intelligence to handle this attack without becoming a yitzin beast also remains to be seen. Stay tuned, this was the London newspaper with French accent. 
Well, okay, there you go. I honored, I honored that redeem fair and square. I can't. <laughs> I went above and beyond as always. We're pretty empty here. Ooh la la, Jessica, we have to go. O'Brien. Not what he asked. Hello, fuckface. Is that what you get for fighting, for fucking with this squad? We will defeat you with random actions. Down, boy. Yeah, this was my lucky pistol shot. Okay, you heard Gamut. Send me that as well as a reminder, love, please. We gotta... What what Gamma just said. He, 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 <clears throat> it's been a while. He likes my... He likes my Master Roshi voice. Well, it's inspired... It's inspired by Master Roshi at least. Also, Herbert the Pervert. <laughs> hi, Chris. No, hi, Chris. No, Mark does that better. Mark does the perfect Herbert the Pervert. Makes me... Question some things. Wait, we're going. We're going up or down. I, I forgot. Should I go up now? Am I? No. Then I want to go down. Fuck you, Jessica. Jessica, we only went two floors up. That's ridiculous. That's just ridiculous. Was that Mass Effect elevators? <laughs> Hi, Chris. That's where we came out of, right? Yeah, Mark's really good at that. I somehow, sometimes I get it, but not always. Jesus, what's going on? Oh. So we're gonna ignore this one. It's not gonna open behind me, I'm sure. Floor number six. You can't, you can't even bust the door like in RE5 and 4. It's like, are we going backwards now? Keep the good elements from the new games and the good new elements from the old games, you know? Oh, this looks like it's gonna be fucky. Yeah, there they are. Just ignore them for now. Open some... If I open some lockers, no one's gonna see me, I think, yeah? Hello? Hunters? Hunters? This is your local... Grandpa Hip. Will the frugality win? Frugality always wins. Can you reload without... Oh, you can reload without even aiming. Good. Alright. Let, let me kill a few more. If they hurt me, I have heals. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Let them coalesce. There you go. That's for spending my ammo, asshole. Where's the other guy? Are you fucking blind? We're fighting here. There's the grenade was supposed to get two of you. I could have... Could have gotten him in the face, but you know, didn't want to risk it. Let's get to the end, actually. I want to use the herb. Can you read that? No. Oh, two more of these, okay. More pistol ammo. I wish there was more shotgun ammo. No, thank you. <laughs> I wish I got a million dollars. Doesn't work every time. Well, you know, I wouldn't mind a million dinars either. either. Was that like hundred thousand dollars? <laughs> Just enough. Jackal. Uh, yeah, I keep go I keep gravitating towards it, like the item whore I am. You good, love? Yes. Play the spirit pipes. You actually need to blow into the pipe. Blow into the pipe. Oh, okay, okay. She's playing. She's playing. Um, what's it called the sp 
Zelda spirit tracks on the on the DS. I thought she was going, but no. She's just playing Zelda. You can't open this one because it's bent. Did the hunter punch it? You know, after our rescue, Are you kidding me? A dead end? these people don't need no monsters. What now? What is it there? It looked like she found something. The way she, the way she showed it. Let's go shotgun mode. We can get through here. Give me a hand. What the fuck are you doing on that side? She was just staring at it, I guess. You're not getting through that before they arrive. No, you're dead. Don't... Bullshit. They were right behind her. What, were they waiting there? Just like staring at them while they were lifting that thing? They would have just ripped to that spot. Yeah, more bullshits up ahead. Um, some really cooperative hunters, I gotta say. Like, oh, sh see they're having some trouble there. Just like... Cut them some slack. I'm gonna need all the ammo I can get because we're about to start another crescendo event or whatever you want to call it. We got heals, we got... You know, so many machine gun bullets that I'm gonna have to use them. I just... I have no other choice. There's health. Yeah, let's start with that. I think as soon as we approach the elevator, it's gonna get rough. While the other elevator is arriving, come on. They're almost here. They're here. I think they're here for you. Because they're good. Sorry, I don't think no, punch him. Damn it, Parker. Priorities, man. More? I know there's gonna be more. Go, did you still punch me? Down, boy. Like, what the hell is this? I get it, it's supposed to be a better bioweapon, but it's ridiculous. Just the way they're jumping. I guess they, they would be what people would want from a bioweapon. I just don't like them. Well, I gotta punch something. Just a did I just obliterate the hunter? Oh shit. Is that all the grains? No. All of you dead? I know they're gonna stop coming at one point. Are you, are you like... Was she hitting that guy? Because it didn't look like she was making it. Alright, here we go. That should be it, right? They stop. Just one bullet? Really? Oh, shit, 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 shit. Need more grenades! I think they're gonna keep coming infinitely until we escape now. Just leave that one alive. Yo, you can move and reload, that's right. Is that all? Oh wait, there's more. Whoa ho ho ho! Oh, ha ha! Good one, sir. 
That was really good. I'm, like, I'm gonna give it to him. Are you gonna keep coming? That it? It should be limited. <laughs> okay. I guess that's it. Yeah, you saw that, right? They look they look so pumped. Everything reloaded, ready to go. A pistol needs one bullet. Yeah, that's critical. It's kind of it is silly. <laughs> they go like raw. Still better than, you know, the RE3 remake gammas. Kentucky failed chicken. They like saying that in the series, right? Raccoon City all over again. History book. Come on, Hunter! <laughs> Come on, you stupid Hunter! Who knocked down the shells? Well, those are shells, right? Nope, just like some pipes in front of an elevator. In progress, like work in progress. As in being built. I mean, I get it, it's a newly built town, but... Get the ladder, we gotta go! Okay, ladies first! Who's, who said that? Who are we talking to? We are the FBC. Oh, Hammer of Dawn activating. I imagine it more like melting. Yeah, look right at the blast. In case of an implosion, look directly at the implosion. Burning, stupid! <laughs> what? Ugh. This is a good cinematic. I won't lie. That's how Terragrigia came to not be. Came, stop, came to stop being. Building on building. Building on building action. Look at that. <laughs> I didn't know that's what we came for. Maybe we shouldn't have built a city out of glass after all. They're melting! <laughs> They're melting! Oh, I thought you can just undo that. Well, you dressed well. That's gotta count for something. <laughs> All the floor shots. I guess save, even though it auto saves. <laughs> World building on ice. On ice. Next page. Is that the end of episode? Do you really want to be safe? Like, yeah, we're back to present, okay? Raymond. 9 p.m. Exactly. That's you, isn't it? Huh. Oh yeah, Jill's in this. The SAA. A little too late. What is the FBC doing here? <laughs> answer me, Raymond. I don't have to answer anything. So Federal Bureau of Cockiness, I guess. 
You have no authority over this. There's no time to fight. We've got to give it a rest. Why is everyone glowing? I know why you're here or who you're fighting. Are you ghosts? Raven, stop right there. They really went overboard with the bloom Nothing effect. Will change unless you get your hands dirty. Wait, didn't someone get shot? <laughs> so the FBC is on this ship too. What's going on here? We're operating without any intel. We need to search this ship for answers. Not that I relish the idea. Search the bridge. Bridge the search. Doesn't look like you can use this for communication. Yeah, that was the same as last time. This one's completely dead. Why is it showing there? Maybe underneath me? Oh yeah, I have the Metroid scanner back, right? Wayong. Any handprints? Because that's really important for the mission. Where the hands left the print is where we'll solve this mystery. Maybe on the ceiling. They will tell. You know, some of them are actually, I'm not gonna lie, on interesting places. Communication system is down. Is that what we're supposed to search? Nope, that's how the previous episode ended. That's the same. What about the chair, man? Nobody's talking about the chair. Oh, he tells you where to go. You don't even have to wonder. Wasn't there a button, like up or something, that points on the floor where to go? For the ultimate dummy? Oh, we're full. And the only weapon I have so far, huh? So there's the elevator. That's where we came from, I'm sure. Right? Because when I climb up... No, wait. We came from the other elevator. Ah. But this... This isn't the same elevator. Is it even working? Not working. Alright, thanks for... Wow, I got a straight answer. No bullshit. Nope. I, the plaque, Jill. You're looking at the plaque. <laughs> I guess there's nothing on the plaque. No files here. Like a bulletin board, maybe even. I hear zombies. Are they even zombies? Holy shit, they're fish zombies. Man, am I blind with... I uh, have... I have issues with these. Now I can punch him. No! Yeah, that was. I gotta figure out how they get stunned. Thanks for saving me, Parker. Barker. Helmark, okay. The map is gonna tell me this shit, right? There is a map. Yeah, there is a map. It's trying to be Metroid Prime map as well, but, you know, it's not as good, but it's pretty good. It's way better than the RE5 map, you know, the one that doesn't exist. Helm key, there you go. Right across from where the other thing was. I have big issues with this camera being all up in my face. Is that the, is that a crater from Raccoon City? It can't be, right? No, it would be less populated around it, but it looks like a crater. Maybe that's Terragrigia, who knows? Who's even following? Oh, more documents. Ship layout. For all staff and crew, the Queen Zenobia is a pleasure cruise liner that provides world-class service with the comfort of a luxury hotel for our passengers. This ship offers numerous services and facilities for our guests. As a representative for this ship, it is your job to be familiar with all the facilities that can be found here. Including the secret ones, huh? The following list outlines some of the major facilities on this ship. Please read each one carefully. That's what we intend to. Promenade Hall. Boasting an area of 1,500 square meters, the ship's promenade has all... Hall, Promenade Hall has three floors and is more spacious than any other ship in the world. 
The interior is done in a gothic style. Pff, are you surprised? With ceilings covered in chandeliers. Its beauty and style rivals that of the finest opera houses. I think maybe that's what tricks a lot of people into thinking, oh, this is just like a classic RE. It feels like it. You're walking around, unlocking doors, solving puzzles, and uh, it's all like covered in this gothic architecture. So, uh, or even pepper sprayed with goth gothic architecture in this case. Because you're on a ship, you can't fool me forever. So, yeah, I think that's, there's something that activates in our brains. Says, ah, pff, definitely Resident Evil. Casino. The ship's casino can be found next to the promenade hall. All kinds of gaming pleasures await our guests, including card games and slot machines. Everything guests would expect from a casino can be found here 24 hours a day. That's awfully suspicious. You already said it two times. Why say it a third time? Like, everything that's in a casino is in a casino. It's being a casino. It's like, everything in this egg is like an egg. It's just an egg. <laughs> Restaurants and shops. The Promenade Hall has designer goods and brand name stores from all over the world. Guests can relax at our many restaurants and bars. There are also shops that cater to our guests' everyday needs. Emergency communication room. There is, an, there is an emergency communication room next to the promenade that can be used as a safety point during an emergency. Crew can also use this room trans, to transmit an emergency distress call should the need arise. Solarium. The shattered glass of the solarium overlooks the world, world's largest onboard swimming pool. This romantic spot has been a favorite destination for many of our passengers. Be on the lookout for couples who sneak in after hours. I guess if that's your job, there's a safe with a card reader. Okay, we'll get that later. I think that's all for now in this way. Ha! Huh. How the fuck did I miss that? We can't apply them here, right? We gotta apply them back at the box. Work shed, I guess. I guess it's dubbing for a work shed. Alright, let's get out of here. So now we go to that door right across and try to shine new key, I guess. More files. Discarded message. Oh God, please help me. This can't be happening. Don't leave me to die in this hell. I'm trapped here. There are monsters here. Real ones. Everyone's dead. Or dying. There are no survivors. Shit, we're all gonna die. Wow, you can't really get the tone right. Monsters. I heard the monsters are coming back to town. Is that the map of the ship? Upper interior map, all right? We should find an emergency communication room if we go through the hall. We should walk in, in, in place, I guess, when you get to something. <laughs> uh, wait a minute. What about that guy? Okay. Better save than sorry. Sorry? Ooh, another file. History of the Queen Zenobia. Tonnage 148,000 gross, gross tons. How do you say that? Gross, I guess. Tons. Displacement 90,000 tons. Length. Oh, these are just like ship specs. Propulsion, electric diesel, propul electric diesel propulsion. Nine, one, 1,094 officers and crew, but 2,200 passengers. It's like. Uh, approximately <laughs> approximately one crew member on um, per passenger is that is it how it goes this paraguas line flagship was constructed in 1978 the interior is designed to replicate that of ships in the 1930s the goal the golden age of cruise ships yeah before we had planes and trains well planes mostly Trains don't go over the ocean. But still, <laughs> the design was based on blueprints left by George Trevor before his disappearance. <laughs> I love how everything in this universe connects to George Trevor and Oswald Spencer. The fucking universe revolves around these two figures. Jesus Christ. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry. I just I can't skip this because they're going to touch. We're going to get to that. Like, even in 7 that I like their 
sucking George Trevor's dick. Like, the guy designed the whole fucking planet. <laughs> Newspapers from the time of the ship's construction report accolades the... Re report accolades the design received. The ship herself is named after Zenobia, the queen of Palmyrene Empire, who was deposed by the Romans. Like the legendary beauty of her namesake, this ship is also known as the Beauty of the Atlantic and remained one of the most popular cruise ships built in the 20th century. Oh my, we got a raid from Sexy Wesky. Hello, Sexiness Weskiness. How you doing, my friend? No, oh, I shouldn't touch that. Lupka's gonna break my legs. She's just gonna come here like, did you just shout out someone on my watch? Hello, Wesk. Welcome. Welcome, Raiders. Welcome to Resident Evil Revelations. What was Sexiness Weskin is doing prior to this? Uh, oh, Lup Lupka? Lupka? Where? Lupka! Oh, there you go. Oh, oh, yo, she's gonna break her legs. <laughs> yeah, I think she, she's playing a lot for that, so. Ah, I okay. Want to do it. <laughs> Like right in front of her nose. I mean, <laughs> don't be disrespectful. Uh, Lupka holds claims on all uh, on all shoutouts. It's been a while, Wesky. Yeah, I'm doing good now. Better. Got excellent things happen. You know, after everything we've been through, um, things are going better. And I got my driver's license. I finished my final exam. You know. The big things that take the load off your mind. How have you been doing, my friend? Have you been playing Fortnite? Oh, I never saw you play that. I don't even know what Fortnite is. I just know it's popular with the kids. <laughs> yes, I can drive now. I have the license to kill now. Literally. <laughs> uh, shh, don't tell them that. <laughs> it's like 38 to 40. Not kidding, degrees outside. But the cat's like, yeah, ah, like, let's lay in the sun. Uh, sometimes I envy her in the summer, mostly in the summer. Did I drop something? Oh, yeah, it's just my coaster. So how have you been, Wesky? What have you been up to? And how did you get to Fortnite? Tell me the story. I want to know. Well, let me switch to this. If, I, if I'm talking to you, if I'm talking to you, I'm talking to you like this. <laughs> Doing work, okay. So, are things, things are good. Is that, is, are they good? So far, good. Okay, okay. Man, I miss hearing you in the streams, you know. Any prognosis when we're going to get Wesky, Wesky, sexy Wesky voice back? Oh, I hear you, man. I hear you. One of the biggest reasons why I'm happy to, you know, finally be done with these exams is because it's it, a good chunk of time goes to that. Not just like practicing, doing, you know, doing homework and just in your head when you have something like that on top of it. So it 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 makes you feel even more busy, you know. <laughs> well, thanks for the raid and, you know, Thanks for thanks for supporting as always, Wesky. Yeah, I, I did my final exam. I've been. It's all about not worrying. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I had. I've been dragging the final maths exam for a, over a year. Well, my first attempt was in 2018, but then we moved, and I wasn't there until let's say 2022. So yeah. Uh, and I had to go like. I, th I I had four shots at it. I think this was a fifth or even sixth one. But, you know, I made it. And I didn't even made it with just a passing grade, which is really good to, you know, it's really, it's a good feeling. Yeah, big load, big load off my chest and mind. And, you know, it just gets, feels more free. So, you know, you know, you know, my little busy friend. We've had senpai somewhere here. We've had, I don't know. Hey, have you been playing Outbreak lately, huh? 
I should really get some music for this, like when I'm when I'm chatting with people, when I'm podcasting <laughs> with remote guests, I should be playing some music in the background, really. Well, on this side, all I can hear is the fan. On your side, you can't even hear the fan. I do love love Mark's microphone, though. That's my next big goal for streaming: get a much better microphone and a laptop. A laptop can is still holding up, but the microphone I really want better quality. Wesky had amazing quality of uh, microphone. I remember, you know, it it really it really popped. I don't know if you use a, a like a specific special microphone, Wesky, or what, but that's one thing I remember about your streams. You know, you, you could really hear what's going on, and uh, while you know, hearing you talk. All right, let's get let's get back into uh, Resident Evil Re Revelations. We're currently, we're currently, pardon my French, uh, sucking George Trevor's dick off in this game before we move start doing <laughs> doing that in the other game. Wait, what? What is that? I you said that as you said that right as I said sucking George Trevor's dick off. So. I'm wondering. Yeah, that's exactly what I meant. Because you're, you're one of the tanks is chatting. So oh yeah, it is. Well, I am. Well, what's 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 a host? What you know? What's a if, host to do? What's a host if if he doesn't talk his guests' fr you know ears off? Did I say talk, off. friends off? Yeah, talks their friends off. <laughs> <And a poop. laughs> no, yeah, no, yeah, but yeah. All in all, you know, life goes up and down. We're positive, you know. The 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 ups, we we go wee, and for the downs, we just go okay, let the shit pass, and you know, it goes good. Sometimes you, you the downs, you gotta go what's up, but you know, not all the time. That's me being tough. <laughs> that was me. That was my prison slang, I guess. <laughs> Yo, what's up? <laughs> oh yeah, where? How far did we get with this? Oh, they were coming to the point I was I was just making before. So built in the with the rise of the air travel supplanting the popularity of long seafaring voyages, it looked like Queen Zenobia, along with her sister ship, was destined to be junked in the late eighties. So soon, okay, but really, you know, with with airplanes, I I don't get it personally. You know why I would go like three days to from from I don't know Serbia to New York, it's probably more than three days by ship instead of just like six hours. But what do I know, man? <laughs> if I get to New York, any you know, anyway, on a raft, I guess. Well, that sends the wrong message, does it? <laughs> but if I do get on to New York on a raft from Serbia, man, that's gonna be that's gonna go to news. <laughs> like getting to America on a raft, no bad topic. Don't go there. <laughs> Well, they did it in Bugs Bunny, though, you know. Fortunately, she was purchased by the Paraguas line, and her steam turbines were replaced with an electric diesel propulsion system. Her hold and cabin areas were expanded, and she was upgraded with the latest technology. The Queen Zenobia was reborn as a fully functional luxury liner. After its restoration, the Queen Zenobia set out on a cruise around the world, followed by one around South America and many, many others. In the future, she will find her main harbor in the Mediterranean for her cruises around Africa. The Queen Zenobia will be bringing pleasure to passengers for years to come. The, the History of Queen Zenobia 1995 Edition. Oh man, little did they know things that were going to happen in this universe. He's going to jump me. Oh, he's got worms in his... No, this one's not turning, I think. Maggots. They're not even just like regular worms. They're maggots. How horrible. Must have been a painful death. Yeah, something burst out of him. But I think that's all here, right? There's no item scanner. Oh, right. I forgot about that completely. He's got an item in this in his chest. I completely forgot about the item. See? So many things happening in this game. And nothing happened yet. <laughs> this is zoom like zoom out, stupid camera. Should be able to zoom out, right? Can I press this? Yeah, okay, I can. I don't see anything else. 
Uh, yes, anything else? Pretty sure that's what Jill said just before. Quiet, Parker. The door sound is making me nervous. Looking for some handprints. What's the deal with handprints? I'd actually like to know. Someday I'm gonna get all 30, is it, of them? 30, yeah. Someday I'm gonna get all 30 of them and find out what they're for. Oh, I killed that guy. Well, I can still scan his corpse a little. <laughs> scan his corpse a little. How about the bridge, though? Did I scan everything in the bridge? All right. we, got to find we go where, doofus? So they, like, tease us with that flashback from four years ago but they don't tell you much about it I mean it's supposed to be this awesome oh I can't get to punch these assholes I really want to punch one of them in the face it's much harder than with the hunter somehow Hello, Kingdom Hearts 2023. Let's... Hmm. Where did, I, where did we meet? I'm trying to remember. We met somewhere. But thanks for stopping by at the stream. I know it was recently, fairly recently, like maybe a month ago. Was it this elevator working? Bong! 100%. Okay, so we got a spare herb waiting. What about the other herb? Should I go get it? Oh, that's right. Well, I wasn't playing anything. I had a short, short two-week hiatus. But, uh... Should be back to normal schedule now. So hopefully I'll play something with Doc. Soon. Very soon. I'm really hoping for more outbreak. I never, I, I wasn't there to see if he ever finished the, the the outbreak run with the final two scenarios. I should have taken the free one. Never mind. That's good. Here we go. Full health. Haven't seen Doc or Michelle or any, anyone on Twitch in almost a month, so can't wait to say hi to everyone. So many doors, like door opening simulator. Bong. Where are we going again? What do they say? Four deck, side deck, fright lift, quarter deck, crew quarters, solarium. Emergency communication room. So there it is. We got to get there and we're right now here. So it doesn't matter where I'll go. Upper decks, lower decks. You can't go to the promenade deck now, but that's where we need to go. And to get there, I think we're going to have to, yeah, we're going to have to go all the way here first. That's right. So first there, through the cafeteria, through any of these so wherever I decide to go, it'll end up in the same place. Okay. Where do I want to go first for the wheel, though? There's the wheel room, right? Or is it the one that I already opened? No, it can be, because I just came from the, what's it called, the bridge? Zoom right stick. Oh, there you go. You can do that, I guess. You can zoom out a little. So I'm in the bridge. Open that. I need to go to... Upper cabins, lower cabins for the to to put the yeah that's right lower cabins first to put the to go to the weapon box and then upper cabins to open the wheel door there you go I gotta plan my route <laughs> freeze bullshit agent bullshit I always forgot her name bullshit. 
Artist Alliance, that's right, Bullshit Artist, History of the World, should know it. So, just, I guess here? There it is. Damage 2, alright. Do I want to switch to Samurai Edge? It's going to have... It's got more upgrades. Okay, so can't have two of the same kind, I guess. By 20%, okay. We'll save some bullets, but you know, they will drop bullets as well. I will get, you know, I will hand it to this game. The An outbreak on a ship is, well, ships are really good places for outbreaks. As scary as that sounds. Viral, you know, any kind of disease. Is this where I put the, yeah. Let's read some more. Is he coming, Parker? You're taking an awfully long time. Note found in room 303. What the hell is going on? Monsters are crawling all over the ship. They're tearing it to pieces. I've never seen monsters like this. Their movements are stiff, stilted. But it's all over if they get a hold of you. Those piece of shit bastards, I mean monsters, ate my friend Hassan. Hassan Chop! Bastards. Oh, they, he did say bastards. I used my gun to frighten them off, giving me time to get the hell out of there. The bullet went straight through its arm. Thank God. These monsters have bones like an old woman. There's nowhere left to run now. Damn monsters twisted my leg good. Hell, I've run out of ammo too. God only knows how I'm gonna survive this. I don't know why you have why you went a little southern there near the end, but just go with it. Roll with it. It's all good. Do you do I prefer RE7 or 8? 7, definitely. I was just saying earlier. <laughs> so 7 to me is a big refreshment. Back to classic RE, back to all the good stuff. Even though a lot of old school fans don't, you know, like it as much or at all. But 8 is, was just ridiculous, honestly, to me. And I laughed my ass off near the end, that part with the bombshell of a plot hole, <laughs> plot hole machine gun. I did like some things about 8, you know, I like the gameplay and some of the characters. But overall, well this is the goofiest story for me, the one I'm playing right now. This is just like ridiculous. Why am I running around like a headless chicken? There's nothing else here. Oh wait, I have my scanner thingy, that's right. There's an item here. I knew there was something there. Illegal custom parts. There you go. We're going to put another thingy on the thingy. I haven't played RE4 Remake yet. But... Uh, truth be told, I wasn't a big fan of the original. I'm not a fan of the over-the-shoulder Resident Evil games, honestly. As in, like... Can I go without him? Well, bye. <laughs> Is he gonna pop out of somewhere? I really gotta see that. Or is he going for the... He's calling the elevator, I think. They're... F you know, they tend to be fun games. I think RE4 more, you know, mostly. But RE6, I, of all the over-the-shoulder REs, I'm gonna say RE6 is my favorite. Damage burst. Two consecutive shots. You know what? Go for it. That's for pistols. Good. There you go. Your illegal part has been installed. He's here. He's really fast catching up when the camera's not looking at him. But yeah. We'll see. You know, I, I keep. Friends keep telling me, Kingdom Hearts, that uh, I like the remake more than the original, even. But I don't know. But just because it's not my... It's not the kind of 
Resident Evil I enjoy. There are over-the-shoulder games I like. But it just kind of loses, especially in this one. What the hell is this? This camera in my face. The protagonist staring me. Well, their back's staring at me, really. Did I have the scanner before? Yeah, I think I had it. I scanned this room. How about you? <laughs> save, damn it, huh? <laughs> well, make it save. How about you, Kingdom Hearts? Do you like RE7-8? You know, the modern-ish REs? Did I want to go here, right? Because I wanted to open the thing. That's right, that's right. That's why I went here. That's unlocked. Doors that can be opened. They're open, right? Well, let's check it out. So where I came from? Towards the keycard thingy. So where is that? Can't find my... So it should be like straight left from somewhere. Oh, okay. So that's here. There you go. There you go. There's something for someone. For someone? There's something for everyone, is what I wanted to say. <laughs> what do you like about RE8? Can we do this still? No, we're missing... Wait, did we find, didn't we find that in key items? There it is. A beautiful sailboat relief shield decoration. Alright. We get the shotgun. Winham. Scan first, scan first. Well, that was... Wow, with one shell in it, even. <laughs> and I even scanned him. Well, kinda. Uh, should I reload? No, you don't get bonus ammo here from stuff. With that one shell that was in it. So I did that as well. What else is left here? Weapon box, we did that. We need that card, so let's get out of here. Which way was it? I gotta go east, I guess. But the map doesn't... I don't think... Oh, it's this way. I'm sure it's this way. Oh, the wolves. Okay. I found... Personally, I found too many ways to cheese the game. So that kind of detracted. Well, the scary boss can go through the door. I can just shoot at it from a door frame. You know, that kind of stuff. But I only played it once, granted. So, you know, in this marathon, we'll get to it soon, I hope. And uh, we'll see what happens on the second playthrough. I did like the parts like the dollhouse. You know, the, the actually scary parts. Oh, shit, it's the guy that shoots. Now I would be able to punch him. Oh shit, can dodge that. I really want to punch someone in this game. That's not a hunter, I mean. That was surprisingly easy. Ooh, bullets. Those weren't there before, were they? I mean, something else might have popped in. How about RE4 Remake, uh, Kingdom Hearts? Do you Did you enjoy it? Do you have something to share about it? Because I heard, I heard a lot of praise at, initially. But then, you know, I heard people who also thought different. So I thought, hmm. You know. It, was, it wasn't suspicious, but more like... Ooh, did I have this key? More like... Uh, surprising how many people liked it when it came out. And the reviews. Just looking at the numbers. Extremely positive. This is where the key card is. Why am I going this way again? I'm trying to get there. That's right. I'm trying to get there. Ooh, did we read that? Yeah, we did. It's the RE1 file. Okay, what what was your first Resident Evil game? What was the first one you ever played?
You know, I didn't do this back there. I don't know if it will do any good, but let's try it. Because a good item scrounger should be able to scan a room. Even though this fucking thing is zooming. Why, why is it defaulting to zoom? Who thought this was a good idea? Use a scanner. You're gonna see everything magnified. Look, look how closer it gets. I mean, the, the camera is already close. I get it was for a, for a handheld console, but Jesus Christ. I guess so you could see on a little screen. Ari Director's Cut. Ooh. That's a, that's probably, I'm gonna say the best version of one in, uh, of the first game. In terms of, you know, quality of life upgrades without downgrading anything. I'd say Director's Cut is the best. Not counting the remake, so, you know, the non-remade RE1. That's one of the reasons why I like 7 so much, honestly. It reminds me a lot of RE1, you know, wandering around a scary house with traps and different kind of... Uh, people didn't like the, yeah, the, the mold monsters. Honestly, I prefer them over Ganados and Magini and all the other enchanted creatures. Of the land and see how am I moving backwards for the love of I went did I turn around I got turned around did I did I no I shouldn't have no I, I didn't turn around because well that's the elevator yeah that's the part I need to go to but where what does it say destination maybe I need to do it from the top floor which keys do I have watch keys Crew quarters, screwdriver, helm key. Yeah, helm key. Was there a helm key lock up there? Because I don't see it. But not here. But let's say... Should be here as soon as I pass through this. Yeah. I need the fucking kitchen, was it? Yeah, cafeteria. And there's a helm key door there. Okay, I see it. Maybe. Was that here? Is this the cafeteria? Oh my god. I love it the is. Doors. I love this room. Yeah, the cafeteria, it's it's a pretty room. So, okay, so I'm, I'm missing... Oh, it's this one straight ahead. Is it the one? The only one I didn't check because I was like, I don't have the key for that. <laughs> here we go. The Again, another Metroid Prime-ish thing. Masking loading times with doors that open for a long time. A really long time. I wonder how long this was. See, the map changed. If you yeah. keep an eye on the map, you'll see it like load the next area. Bullshit Artist Alliance. Freeze. Right, here we go. Saved. There you go. Both cozy and stylish. Yeah, this... So they like... They do like... Too expensive. Let's go there first, huh? Or should we explore first? No items? They really like going back to that RE1 style. We were just I was just saying how this game this is the first game that start, starts well, I said it too many times, but <laughs> now in this stream, but starts sucking uh George Trevor's dick off before they switch to sucking Spencer's dick off along with George Trevor's dick so it's like a multi-dick situation oh shit yeah we have this can we upgrade the shotgun I put damage one on it something firing rate no that's better for the pistol I, I love what the M92 has now so this is where I came out of. There's a second floor. But I need to go to the comms room first, I'm pretty sure. Second floor. And then we, sh sh we take a slightly right. If I keep showing anymore, stop me. Somebody stop me. It looks like a ship on fire. It's not really comforting. Ew, Alexia. No, that's not her. She was blonde. Not working. Alright. I get it. You have to confirm that you want to get out. 
No handprints. Look, all of this, no handprints. Is that an elevator? Nope. Just like a spot where an elevator could be. But it's not. Solarium. I could go for the solarium right now if I remember correctly. Not working. Well, no yellow dot means no... No items. Let's go towards the solarium. If I remember correctly, this is... You can already go there now. Scanity scan. Oh, it's gonna load forever again, is it? Goodbye, Parker. Oh, no, he's there. Now, in one of these, I managed to scan something up from the floor above. Ah, oh, that was sweet lemonade. Oh, sweet lemonade. Look at me exploring like an explorer. Unbound by the chase of... Chains of... Oh, you can't scan them because it's not time yet. Wah, wah. Aha! But it... I'm full. Man, it's going... I'm gonna say it's going better than the first time. Or we're gonna do one of these, okay? I guess better now than later when we get attacked by the oozes. So, what do I need to do? Untangle. It's like that rubber game that you play as a kid. What's going... It needs to go there, I guess. Oh, there's one. There's one. There's one. So, they're all... Okay, I see. I guess like that. Oh. God damn it, you gotta uh huh. I guess you just untangle them, this is me yeah. guessing. Uh huh, so this one here. Yeah, okay. But I gotta move this one first. It doesn't, it's kind of counterintuitive because it doesn't stop them. I had to, yeah, there you go, I think. No, wait. Now this one here and this one here. Yeah, I expect them to rip each other apart, but nope. That does not happen. I'll be able to purify the pool with this. Activate, activate. wait, am I supposed to be here? Picked up custom parts, okay. Sniper, right away, all right, there you go. Document. Cleaning a report for next on duty. There are notes handwritten in the comments column of the report. Comments. March 25th. There was some kind of barnacle, there were some kind of barnacles sticking to the bottom of the pool. Don't know where they came from. Please take care of them. March 30th. The barnacles are back again. Looks like they are all grouping together into a little colony. Colony? <laughs> colony. <laughs> colony. Maybe they are a new species. Might be fun to keep some as a pet. April 10th. Looks like the pipe that distributes the water was damaged. It was fixed, but there's a chance there was some contamination on this end. The guy in charge of security wasn't very happy. Maybe it has something to do with a new species of barnacle. April 12th. Yikes! That's no new species of barnacle, that's for sure. The report ends here. Yikes. <laughs> well, thanks for clarifying that, guy. Intriguing. Yeah, it gives you a little mystery. I turned on pool purification. Why did I do that? All right, you'll come back later. I'm sorry, am I not here? A puzzle. Push a button, yeah. Gotta love the puzzles in this game. So that's it, you know, that's not gonna do anything. The file has been read. 
that sound of doors is gonna haunt me. Like last time when I played this game, it just goes once, then it closes, and then again, and then it closes. And how many times can you hear that before you go nuts? Oh, there's another one, okay. Inventory full. We're not gonna scan this potentially biohazardous creature because your inventory is full. So, you know, fuck you. No way I'm getting into that. Sure. Not blaming you. Well, they're all scannable now. I swear they weren't scannable just before. These guys are gonna be a lot of fun later. But I got a sniper from this, so... Yay. We got another... Was it an illegal or a regular? Hidden handprints. Wait, where is it even? Oh, there it is. Custom parts. So not illegal. Just a regular kind. Open sesame. Oh, the lightning changes as well. So where's downstairs? Oh, it's on the opposite end. Of course. Of course. So that one has a little red thing, but this one doesn't have a little red thing? I guess that one's gonna work and she knows that? I don't know. Logic went out the window as soon as I booted this up. Okay, so we're back on floor one. Or two? This is floor two, right? Who's counting? So now... I'm gonna go... Hmm, or am I? I'm not. <laughs> I'm gonna go downstairs just to check one more thing. Oh, and check out the custom parts. Good thing there's a box right here in the hole. Fire rate one. But well, we already have that one on, on the pistol, right? So let's put it on the sniper, huh? Sixty, okay, what about the other one? Yeah, this one definitely needs it more. I think there was a handprint somewhere here. On one of these. There, well, there it is. I do remember some things. Crucial evidence for the mission. Not working. Still not working. Hole in a wall. Alright, let's go to this emergency communications room. It's right up here, right? Locked. There's a live bio mark on the fence. Buyo? Bio? How do you sp boy? Live boy. Boy. I get it. Buoyancy. Yeah. Yeah. Note left in front of the emergency communications room. This is the emergency communications room. No one gets in without my permission and not without my key. If you want in. Come find me at my usual spot on the promenade deck. Your comms officer. There's a message scrolled underneath. This is crap! The ship is crawling with freaks and monsters. Well, you're on a luxury line, cruise liner. What do you expect, man? Decent people? No! <laughs> I'm going to the promenade, because at least I can find food there. Anyone who's still alive can meet me up there. He's pirating. <laughs> you know where to find me. I'm not going out like that. I can promise you that. Hope I'm not the only survivor. Survivor. Your friendly neighborhood comes, officer. Okay. How convenient. So now it's downstairs. But what about the opposite way of where the game's telling me to go? 
Still not working. All right. Boy. We can't go there because it's missing something. Casino. Anchor mark. All right. It's one anchor door. Hello, Gavin. Welcome. Welcome, Gavin. Good to see you, my friend. Good afternoon. How are you, Gavin? Open sesame. Freeze. Bullshit alliance. Bullshit artist alliance. Damn, I gotta learn our name. Parker, let's tattoo it on our backs. Because that's on her butt, actually. Because that seems to be jumping into the frame all the time. Thank you. Thank you, Gavin. It's been a few weeks. Oh, oh yeah, this is the spot. I remember now. <clears throat> Stab that box. Show it what you're working with. I have four shells. That's good. Huh. Spin around. Do the pirouette. More shit on the shelves. Oh, and they're expecting me to have a sniper at this point. So I actually went the good way. Got enough. Oh, wait, no, there's still pistol bullets. Anything to scan here? Anything scannable? Like, <laughs> scannable cannibal. Like invisible bullets? Thank you, Gavin. I missed you guys as well. It's, it was weird not streaming after I got used to, you know, doing it daily. Saying hi to everyone. It, it was weird for, the, the reason that didn't occur to me is, well, I'm used to talking to, for instance, you, like this, you know, and then, you know, resistance isn't a lie, we don't play like before, and f with a lot of people I felt as, as if I lost communications, you know, which, you know, that's exactly what happens. <laughs> Looks like we found the promenade. Okay, dodge. Or did she just use this? As long as you strafe... Oh, wow. Well, what a waste of bullets. How about you, sir? Yeah. Look, he's... He, that's, a, that's a walk of a monster who knows what they want. Oh, how the... F You're letting this kid. He's gonna come this way, don't worry. Literally, in any second now. Yeah, I know, Gavin. With so many games coming out, you think, you know, there's something that keeps a lot of people's attention. But I think there's a... It shows one of the downsides... What is that? One of the downsides of having a huge choice, you know, a, a variety. And that's everyone... Everyone likes something different more than the thing that we like, you know, that you like, me, that I like. And... It's not as easy to... It's harder to find games to play when it's not just Goldeneye. We have yet to find one survivor. There we go. One genuinely semi-creepy thing in this. Custom parts. In the game is this guy we're about to see. Oh really, no items? No items at all? How's the new Texas? I haven't tried it yet. Lock from the other side, over. Right. Shotgun ammo case, nice! Should extend my ammo, right? Carrying capacity. Yeah! 40 shells? I have no idea what it was, so... Well, let's just rejoice that we can carry more. That was one of the hidden items. Oh, okay, okay. How about... Well, how's DBD going now with Nicolas Cage? <laughs> it's gotta be a real boon to survivors. Fire rate 2, you say? Wait, not that one. This one. Plus 
Faster sniper or faster pistol? I wonder if that means... What, what does that mean for the burst? Huh? Here you go, he's gonna start looping now. Looping and a pooping. Nothing here. Man, man, it was it was not it was not that. It was higher up, but now we can't go back because Resident Evil logic. No turning back now because we decided. Oh, that guy, yeah. Okay, oh my gosh, remember is. him. That was, yeah. Mayday! Mayday! That's the comms officer. That's why I said, you know, one genuine sad and creepy thing in the game for me was this guy. The rest of the game is... Pff, especially with Jessica around, you know. But this guy, man, his fate... Horribible. It's gonna take so much to die, though. He keeps calling for help. Mayday. I don't know why he's the only, you know, human to mutate um, irregularly. But what can I say? I never made my own game. Live boy. Boy. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. He's gonna get creepy now. Nah, that's for them to come out, not for me to come out. I remember getting my ass kicked here for a long time. Yeah. Repeating this part over and over and over. Nothing to read here. Oh, wait. Well, it's saying there is something here, right? Who locked him in, though, if he was the one of the last survivors? Did he lock himself in? You know, that's never explained. Definitely here. Oh, there it is. Alright, it's time, Parker. Here we go. We're gonna get him there. We're gonna get him here. There's gonna be undead everywhere. Where are the bottles? There. There. Well, I'll do my best. Shotgun, sniper. It's time, here we go. Zdravo <laughs> uh, Davide. Hello, hello. David. David. How you doing, buddy? Here we go. Came to... to Watch me get my ass kicked, huh? He's actually scary-ish. With his mechanical arms. Alright, if I do this right, no. Or is he coming? Yeah, he's coming. He's a coming. Parker, don't be in the way, please. Shit, shit, shit. I know it can kill you very easily. All right, time to run. Woohoo! Wow! Did I just backwards dodge that? Ah, oh, shit! I was hoping to kill more of them with one of those. Oh no! Stop sucking my life out! 
I remember moving a lot to dodge his... Ha! Ah! I framed like that. Parker's gonna keep killing them. I should just do nothing, really. Oh, there we go. Let's open. I need this guy next to the explosive thingy. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Man, there's too many of them. Oh, wait, well, he can come this way as well, right? Wait, how did this open? Because... Where is he? Oh, my God. I have a feeling this is going to be very bad. No! <laughs> oh, hell, I hate wasting ammo like that. Come here, little guy. Little big guy. Oh, sweaty, sweaty, sweaty. Come on, come this way, guy. I should punch him, really. But I was late. I just keep moving. You're best not to get destroyed. Come this way, guy. Come on. You can do it, guy. This way, come on. There he comes. There they all come. There you go. Bitch punch. Ah! Oh, Parker moved. Welcome to the party, Parker. Shoot him, shoot him, and run. Woohoo! Ah, oh, goddammit. I need what? Woohoo! Like, I need talk. That's what I hear. Oh, I, I get it what you hear. Oh, wow. Why are all the dodges always unintentional? Fuck these guys. I gotta get the main guy. Oh, fuck that. Come on, guy. Choose a side. Woohoo! The, the, the scary fact is that they're shooting. Oh, yeah, I should do this. I should scan him as well. What do you mean target not found? Look at the size of that target, man. <laughs> oh no, they can they can trap you. They can leave the trappy trappies. Oh, I can't believe I actually dodged that. Should I turn around? Oh, nice dodge, Joe. Man, somehow in this game, when they're running, they don't. It doesn't feel like they're in a hurry. I need power. That's what I hear. What is he saying? <laughs> Oh, good to see you resting, man. You, you, you earned it. Really, you did. I 
I guess that's the tactic. I haven't found a better one in my first try, so... Ow! I'm doing something here, you bitches. Oh no, I... Damn. Ow! My appendix! It hurts! Are you shooting him, Parker? Or is it my job alone, huh? Where is he? Oh no. Oh no. Only two, huh? What's happening with the lights? The thing I went for the sniper would have been a lot harder without it. I don't know, I don't want to find out. I guess hitting the little guy on his back hurts more. No, I'm stuck. I can't go. Okay. Oh my god, that hurts so bad. How much HP do you have? I, I know there's more ammo there I didn't pick up, but we'll get there. Ow! Oh, I, I would so use more explosives right about now. I should just ignore the little guys. They're not really doing much, just wasting my time. Oh, cool dodge. Cool dodge, Jill. How about do it sometime, you know, when I want to do it? Parker? Man, nobody's chasing. Look at him. He's like, he's having it easy. Nobody's lo even looking at him. As Jill's got that bioweapon attraction. How about these barnacles? Yeah, I guess they're setting traps. long as something doesn't come from my right and ruin everything. Oh, they'll all be here in a moment. Whoa, whoa. No, I'm not using the fucking shotgun on you, you little asshole. Oh, I'm dying. Well, it was nice knowing you guys. I can't. Woohoo! Somehow I survived it. No shit, Sherlock. Why do you think we have jobs in the first place? Oh my god. Do I have more? Yeah, I do, alright. No, not now, Jill! Jillian! Alright. This gives me enough for a safe shot. Oh god, oh god. Am I gonna exploit that place a little more? Four more shells, come on, you can do it. Woo! Well, Parker's doing something, I'm not gonna lie, he is helping. Okay. You dead? He's dead! 
I can't believe he's fucking dead. Doesn't matter what happens now, guys. We won. That was a stun, I think. More scan. More scan. No. There you go, free herb. Well, get out of there, Jill. There we go, stunned. We shot each other. I have four bullets in my handgun. Parker? Oh, thank you, Parker. Parker, you saved my ass, man. Like I said, he was pretty useful, actually. For a, for a Resident Evil bot companion. Seriously, they... He, it took a lot of heat off of me there. Okay. Woo! Hello, mutation. <laughs> Came to make a donkey out of me, as always. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? He needs a hug, huh, Gavin? Well, he got a hug. He got the eternal hug. We're waiting. <laughs> Man, this this boss is one of the hardest in the entire series for me. It was the first on the first playthrough. This this is actually a really good finisher to that, you know, compared to the first time when I died. I died a lot of times here, let's say four or five times. Because I thought, man, like three barrels exploding in his face, that's got to kill him. But nope. The guy's like, I can take more. I can take a lot more. So we're going to get that key when we go further. I know I saw a yellow uh, circle somewhere. Which means more items. But where? I was running for my life. I think it was in the room where the comms officer came out of. What was his last note? Mayday, Mayday, this is the Queen Zenobia. He dropped the key. There you go, life, life boy, life boy key. Is that the key to the emergency oh, there was one here. Yeah. Leave this monster infested hell hole. He says that as if it's gonna be over soon. Yeah. Man, there was more there, I know. <laughs> oh, let me see. Let me see. Lupka's gone. She's 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 out. She's killing zombies in another universe. But we're not gone. She's not even there. She's like missing. Well, I don't know if she said anything. I missed it. So yeah. No, she didn't. Okay, okay. She's like missing from the gaming world entirely. <laughs> Soon. Ooh. Check out Mutation, my good friend and fellow game taster person. Taster <laughs> game taster. <laughs> yeah, that's a new profession. We share a lot of common, not just taste, but games specifically. The pauses you're making here. <laughs> hey, I'm thinking, woman. I'm thinking. Did you see the news, Joe? About you saw. What? You saw the news, right? I don't know. Between I start me starting streaming and now, if you were on Discord, <laughs> love that emoji. Who's that? Love it. Really nice heart. Tell him. Tell him. I think I told him. I th I don't know if I told you guys. I didn't even tell them, man. We played on Saturday that I got my driver license. But I also finished my math stuff. So I'm an educated person now. Resistance. I was like, wait, when is he playing this? That's not the same game. <laughs> 
Communication Officer Journal. Day one, I made the right decision coming up. That wasn't his original voice, but his voice here um, inspired me to do this. Yeah, <laughs> thanks, man. Well, one of the reasons why I'll, you know, I'm able to come back is that thing's gone. No more time going on that, so you know, I can, I can reorganize my time better now. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you so much, Joe. Man, where does he find these? That's a really good one. Same trimmer. Okay. Nice, nice, very smooth GIF animation, huh? Well, just go with his monster voice. I made the right decision coming up to the promenade. I've got food and beverages to last me a long time. I can still hear those things out there, crawling on my door or looking for prey. I guess I'm copying the diary from the first Resident Evil because it works so good there. What was the guy's name? Martin Crackhorn. That's right. I'm his nephew, James Crackhorn. <laughs> Crack, James Crackpipe, more like. <laughs> Too bad they ain't getting in here. I have... How did you lock yourself from the outside, man? That's the biggest mystery. I have no idea if anyone else is still alive, but I know I'm going to make it through this all right. Aww. How did that turn out for you? <laughs> God pigeon, yeah. <laughs> Day two. Shit, those damn things got in through the air ducts but I put them all down before they could do any real damage. I've trained for this, and I train hard because of my Uncle Martin, Martin Crackhorn. Hats off to me. Good thing I was up when it happened. No more deep sleeps for me, which is really healthy. The person lives long that way. <laughs> Day three. After yesterday's surprise party, I haven't been able to sleep a wink. My nerves are frayed. I wish I wasn't the only one. Pretty tired today. Don't feel well. I better not get sick. I shouldn't move. Need to conserve energy. Just hang in there. I think this is day four. I got a fever. Hope those monsters don't find me like this. I'm so out of it. Am I infected? Or is it just a cold? What's up with my voice? We'll never know. There's a big lump on my head. It hurts. Wish I had someone to talk to. Is that the thing? Was he growing out of the thing? Or was the thing growing out of him? So alone. Oh my god, that's sad. <laughs> How many days is it? I found someone to talk to. So happy. He's very funny. Tells lots of jokes. Lots. They're funny. I laugh. Laugh. His face is too close. In my face. He thinks so too. No room to move. I had a fight. He wanted all the foods. He was eating meat. Good, tasty meat. I saw his face. Chewing. Eating. No meat for me. Looked tasty. His head looks tasty. Help. Cannot move. Trapped. Me, not me. Who is me? Help, please help. Mayday. Mayday. My day, meat, eat, 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 meat. Man, that's like, wow. All right, it's not quite the Keeper's Journal, Keeper's Diary for Mario 1, but, you know, it's a close second. Ooh, more ammo. But yeah, that's about it. I, I remember this one vividly-ish. Vividly. I remember it well. Because it was the one thing in this game... Where I was like, oh, okay, that's actually a good, you know, horrible but good character detail. Especially after seeing Jessica. Okay, let's open the thing. Nightmare inducing. <laughs> it is. But that's the point, right? Let's go. <laughs> well, that's my specialty. Nightmare inducing. Did we get something new? No, we didn't. Did it help with the shotgun though? I feel like it did help. I got to punch a zombie as well. What are they? Like, are they zombies? What are they called? I forgot. T-zombies? Abyss zombies? Zombabies? Zombabies, yeah. I think there was a handprint somewhere. Or like... 
Yeah, I don't know. Maybe he wasn't expecting. He's working today. Oh. He was off yesterday, so he's working today. Working. We didn't get to play Outbreak. I was hoping last night to get to play some Outbreak, but it was already too late. Hell, like, we go to bed at 9 p.m. now, so... Oh, there's gonna be a thing here later. I remember a kerfuffle here with... I think those... Yeah, with the shielded thing. Screw that. I mean, unscrew that. Blep. Hmm. What the hell? This one has to go up. This one has to go down. Here. Here. And one of them is not in place. It's this one. Does that activate the elevator? Bullshit Artist Alliance, don't fuck with me, man. No, there's nothing there. You almost had me, you bastards. So now we're going up, 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 up. up. Where are we going? Here? What does he want me to do? Oh, I forgot. I get... Oh, wait, what? That's the comms room. Because we got the key for it. That's right. Let's go to the deck. I want to see where it is going. I think it's the other elevator. Four deck. All right. Yeah, okay. Good, good thing I went here. Because there's going to be some loot here. No comment. No comment. We're really stingy on the comments. That's for the key card. Jesus, Parker, don't sneak up on me like that, man. Ooh. Oh, that's just rifle ammo. I thought it was gonna be something special. Do I want to take these? Th oh, that's like the. Ah, uh, just ammo. Well, I don't know why I expect something. Like, ah, ah. Oh, it's nothing. Never mind. <laughs> it's nothing. Never mind. I keep expecting something cool, but it's just ammo. The, the main pickup. Why is it packed up like that, though? Because it's like, you get whatever we think you need. <laughs> Greetings, hipster Frankenstein. How you doing, buddy? Couldn't get all three of them with human arms. Nope. Do I have 100? I have 41%. How many herbs? Three. Man, that's good. I thought I had no herbs. Felt like I used seven of them in, out there. But, you know, it could also be that I can't count. <gasps> There's a handprint. Wait, they're not visible like this. Only under the Metroid scanner. 10 out of 30. That's one third. Well, that's not bad. I'm gonna say that's not, you know, horrible. Do I want to go to the bridge, though? If I go to the bridge... What's that? Like that's like oh another that's the anchor door. Observation deck. It's not showing that I have a key for this. So what else can this key open now? I guess nothing. Card. Current location. Yeah, that's where I am. Bridge, just a card thingy, I think. Yeah. There's a card thingy and then the weapon box. Another card thingy. Hmm. Hmm. Doors that can be opened yet. Doors that can be opened, but it's not... Uh, probably because that's where the goal is. I can't see the icon for the key. Should be a white key on that one. So I'm going back there. Right? There's nothing up there to unlock with this key. Well, you know what? How we'll know? Oh, actually we won't. They don't get, they don't destroy them once they're used. But why? Why would I go there? I don't get it. Was there a card there that I missed? Ah, oh, I doubt it. 
I guess just to get the extra grenades and ammo and then get the fuck out of there. No, wrong, wrong place. I want to check if the ammo's still there, but that's not where I want to go, I'm sure. Yeah, I picked up everything. So down, and then door to the right. And then door to the right. Keep trying to kick the door. This game doesn't have that. We don't have door kicking option. Oh. He has to go to the door after me. He can't do it on his own. Didn't I pick... Oh, it's just ammo. Those boxes make me think I got one of the... Um, upgrades. I think the level is making that noise. Nothing in particular, just the level being... Ooh. Played some Twister Metal. Because the new show got me in the mood. Really good show. Very, very, really good. <laughs> very much of that. <laughs> Funny, well written. Lots of vehic vehicular combat. Nice world building. A big fucking kill cliffhanger that isn't annoying. All right, I'll give it. A, I'll give it a try under your recommendation. Jesus Christ, you're scaring me. We'll never open this, are we? No, can't open it. There would have been a good shortcut, though. I'm skeptical, but you know, I'm always open, and we'll give it a try. Twisted Metal is one of the first game franchises I played. I love Twisted Metal too. That was my favorite. Where are you watching that, though? That's a good question. Can't believe there's a Twisted Metal show. That's. I know it's not following... One of the things I think I read somewhere is... It's not following any of the game's um, storylines. It has its own. Oh, I have no idea who that is. Never watched anything Marvel but uh, Deadpool. The clock's as high as the ceiling. Snoop Dogg high. Alright, let's use the key from the guy that we killed for the second time. Raven. Looks like we both were too late. What are you talking about? How did he get in there without the key? Both of you. Look. Thou wilt be out of you. The desperate grief brings my heart away. Little masked friend. But if thy words be seed that may bear fruit of infamy to the traitor whom I know, speaking and weeping shalt thou see together. There they are. The world is in our hands. There they are, our jokers. This is the tea of this virus, and we are equipped to infect one fifth of the Earth's waters. One fifth. Just one fifth. The Joker and Smoker. It's like William Shatner in Loaded Weapon. No! What? Do you have someone serious? Get ready to move. <laughs> I hate snow. I hate snow. <laughs> Man, it gets more goofy here. I don't see a thing. I got the 
Mediterranean was just like a big lake. Be patient. Wow. Very educated agent. Is like finding a needle in a haystack. No kidding. But that still doesn't solve our problem. Like the clothing problem, maybe, Jessica? Hey, are you even listening? He's Why zoned out. I promise. He's thinking about the dying girl, not about me. And I wore my full clothing for nothing. There you go, episode four, four, three, done. Jeez, wow, okay. Let me see now. You can't follow the game storyline. The story... Wait, what happened? The story develops by whoever wins. It's basically a multiverse. What do you mean? The different Twisted Metal games? Yeah, they're... I mean, they had... The first two were developed by the, the original single track. And they had a connected storyline. Three and four were kind of semi-sequels, but not because they were developed by 989 Studios. Then uh, Twisted Metal Black was amazing. I think that's the best, probably the best and most, has the most story. Those, we didn't get the full one, though, you know, in Europe. I didn't know that for years. I saw my friend play uh, Twisted Metal Black that had cutscenes and everything. Mine didn't have cutscenes. Turns out, like in Europe, mainly due to Germany, they decided, you know, this is a little, uh, this is a little dark and, you know, bloody. So we're just going to remove all the story and have the people shoot each other in cars, which one of the stupidest censorships ever. Like, no storyline, nothing in, you know, Twisted Metal Black in Europe. So I don't know if you played that one, but mwah, such a sick, good game. And, um... Twisted Metal, what, the last one? No, Head On. I haven't played Head On yet. And I haven't played the, just the Twisted Metal from 2012, I think. The online one. Didn't play it. But Twisted Metal Black Online is playable in both Europe and US. If you have the disc, you know. You, there are private servers just like... Actually, Resident Evil Outbreak and Twisted Metal Black share servers and IP. The private, the fan ones, you know. Oh yeah, Twisted David knows. Twisted Metal Black is really... But, like I said, the, the European version... It's like the, the game's missing. Where's the game? You forgot to put the game on. And mostly because of one character. What's his name? The, the priest, David. What's the priest's name? It wasn't a bapt... No, it wasn't an exorcism. It was a baptism. <laughs> that guy. His I think his story is why. Because Twisted Metal Black is set in an asylum. And... Each character, you when you, when you start playing a, the game with a character's story mode, you actually go through their mental story, and it's really fucked up, Carter. I think you'd like it. Hello, Rumpy. Hello. Welcome to the stream. Well, welcome to the tail end of the stream. How you doing? Peacock comes bundled with Sky. That's how I watched it. Yes, that's the way. What is that? What? What is he talking about? What are you talking about? You can't follow... Okay, no, I seen that. The chat's jumping. Haven't played Twisted Metal in a long time. My uncle had it back when we played it from time to time. Yeah, it is. Still, like, the Twisted Metal 2 and Black, my personal favorites. I gotta spoil one thing. So, Twisted Metal 2's ending, this is a common theme. You know, contestants get to the end and Calypso grants them a wish. And uh, let me save this so I can talk... And just in case the power decides to run out or something. Ass! I got an ass. PC-356 for campaign use. There you go. That's 150 total in both games, I think. In both playthroughs. Save. Though it's auto-saves. There you go. So, yeah. Um, spoiler cover if you don't want spoiled one of the endings to Twisted Metal 2. But here we go. So, with any player, with any character, you get to the very end. Calypso grants your wish. And he always finds a way to turn their wishes against them. So, one that got me, that terrified me as a kid, and I still remember it. Spectre. So, the same cars have different drivers in the game. Spectre has like three or four different drivers. But the driver for Spectre from Twisted Metal, Spectre driver for Twisted Metal 2... His wish was to be for the whole world to know his face. And Calypso was like, sure. And stretched his face around the earth. <laughs> and that, like, first time I saw that, I was like, I was like, what, seven, eight years old? <gasps> what the fuck just happened? You know, it's like graphic novel, 
presented, but it still makes you think. But my favorite was Minion, who was like the Minion of Hell, literally driving a giant ass tank. You had to punch in a code for him, and it was something like L1, L2 up, L1, L2 down, something like that. Or left, right, left, right, something like that. But once you do it, and you play the whole game with Minion, when you get to the end, he's the only one who actually won up Scalypso, because Scalypso says, what's your wish? And he's like, I want you to go down to hell with me. And he can't flip that on him, so he just drags him down hell. Really good. Spoilers end! We're ending spoilers for Twisted Metal 2. Preacher Brimstone, that's right. Preacher and his car was Brimstone, that's right. Surprisingly, Carter, it apparently... Germany censors way more games than the US. South Park, <laughs> the stick of truth. The European, the German version specifically, they had to remove a lot of shit. Australian as well. But what Matt Stone and Trey Parker did there, for every removed quest and scene, once you get to that, the, the, the problematic cutscene, they actually narrate it for you. So they tell you, oh, this is where we'd shove up a probe up a guy's ass and shit would fly everywhere. But you get to miss that because your sensors didn't want it. <laughs> I'm a Germany. Eh. <laughs> uh, I, I remember the code. Another player told it, told me the code as it was, you know, player playgrounds and all that school playgrounds. But uh, yeah, I didn't know about that. I re still remember the jump. I think jump was. Uh, down, down, up, or something like that. They change it through the game. Man, I gotta get back into Twisted Metal. There you go. Maybe Carter opened a new season. But anyway, that's enough of streaming for today. Get up pretty early. We're gonna sessions are gonna go under three hours for a while now, until you know. Well, we gotta honor the current schedule of life. But uh, I'm very happy to be back, and you know, back in streaming and seeing all you lovely people. The FS, FSK and the Bund, Bundersput, I can't, Bundersprufstel, Bundersprufstel, man, that's a word, that's like three words there, two at least, but the Bundersprufstel shuts, Spruf, yeah, Sprufstel, maybe Spruf, I don't know which one is S and which one is Sh, but Sprufstel, you guys just gotta yell it like Helga from Alalo, Bundersprufstel, that's German for you, <laughs> Shuts the fuck up nowadays. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I think there's some some money laundering in those in those schemes. Either that, or people just think that everybody should follow their sensibilities. You know. Let's see who we're gonna rate. It's been a while. Uh, what did you do? What did you do? Oh, there you go. I know it's not the best of... I know I know it's not the... Well, it's a pretty good one. I can't watch this to spoil it, but Fatal Frame 2, Crimson Butterfly with Renit. Zoop! What? <laughs> Rage... Rage... Oh... Oh... Okay. Well, only in the head. <laughs> Is it rating? Yes, it's rating. Man, actually, I can get used to this. It actually works. Like the, unlike the last one. So rent it, right? Rent it. Rent it is. It is. All right, that's enough for me. I yapped your ears off for the past three hours. Thanks for stopping by, everyone. And, uh, you know, hopefully... Well, tomorrow we're coming back with more Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance Couch Wednesday. So... We'll keep on going, and you do it too, people. Ear, not head. All right, yeah, well, I can do that too. Like, <gasps> no, not today. But I'll save it for next time, Carter. Thanks for dropping by, Carter. Thanks for dropping by, everyone. And until tomorrow, stay well. Say hi to Renit. Bye.